Thanks very much for coming to our YouTube channel or any kind of social media platform. So we are testing out new access control. We just went to a training seminar with uh, Hike Vision. Uh, that is most of the way that they pronounce it. So new systems that they have out here is access control. So we've been doing various different units. We've actually tried Stanley. We've tried the carry. Um, what's the other ones that we Key tried? Scan. Key scan. We did a huge factory with that. So we wanted to have an affordable, rock-solid solution for uh, our clients that are looking for a smaller door setting, like one or two. So we wanted to take Vince's expert's opinion, and we just wanted to do a brief overview. So we have this controller. Um, we're using universal locks um, for either wood or metal. So if we come in right in here, um, Vince, just show us right here. Um, the basics of this, everybody can look up online, but sometimes it's lacking. For our readers, which are these, where we're going to put them in the wall, we're going to blast them into the wall, and this is where somebody comes up with a fob. Um, am I correct in assuming that this is for the readers? Yes. These guys, and of course it does have schematics, but sometimes you're on site, you just get a little bit frazzled. So what are some of the key aspects in there, Vince? This is, like you said, for all the readers. Uh, this is for two doors. You got in, out, in, out. And then over here, this would be the control, your actual door locks. And this guy here is a, an alert in case someone opens a case that, that could possibly tamper with anything. Right. Uh, here's your main power coming in. This is where you would hook up a battery if you put a battery in here for backup. And then here's kind of the rest of your hookups. And, and what Vince brought us uh, to our attention is, Vince brought it, because we do with so many different access control systems is, the beautiful thing about this guy is, there might be other manufacturers, it's got the power for the strikes built into it. So this way you don't have a bunch of bricks laying around looking ugly. You have to do that. So show them where the, the if we were in the field, we're putting in one door, where would our techs basically be working on on this board? Uh, right here where this reader is already hooked up for testing mm -hmm. and right here for the power to the actual door striker. Okay, cool. And so if we it. wanted like a second door, we would just, I mean, we would obviously look at the manual, but... Right here. Okay. Like, see, this says lock one right. plus a negative, and over here is lock two plus a negative. So if you were doing right. two doors, door two would go there, door two reader would go over here. Right, right, right. So basically all we have to do is when we're out in the field and what we do in, in the office is we, a lot of times we'll do a dry bed um, test because we have to set up the cards and everything. But when we're out in the field, we'll just install the box uh, and then we'll start running our wires to the readers, to the strikes, mag locks, whatever you like. And then all we have to do is just put the power wire into here, 18.2 yep. and 22.6, so the control cable for there. Now, the interesting thing is why we do internally in the office or on site sometimes, but to save time, we automatically set up the fob. So, if Vince, if you could show us on your laptop, how you just real quick, brief overview of how you set up the cards. Okay, well that's pretty easy. You open up this software here called, called the iVMS Client. Once you open that up, you get to this screen. You simply click on Access Control, and that brings you right here. And then you click on this guy here at the left where it says Person and Card. Simple enough. And then right here, you just, right at the top here, you just hit Add. And you would type in the person's name, like say Test. And then right here under Card, you would hit Add. Right here. You can select your card reader if you don't know how to enter it manually, and then you just hit read. Scan the card. Oh, wait. Ooh, let's get that on video. It's, it's not. It, it, now, normally it would enter a number right here, but since I already put all the cards in, it just says it's already there. Normally okay, it would cool. just type it in. Yeah, High Vision has this really great software. Um, it comes with the access control, so it's free. Now, for multi sites that you're rolling out, you do have to pay a little bit for their, like, I like to call it their global or enterprise software. But a lot of times, access control, you have to pay a, a gazillion dollars for their software. But Hike does it good because it comes with the actual unit. 
So, Vince, now that you have a test bed you set up with a couple different users, show us the magic that we always do before you go on site so that we have a quick install. So what's going to happen here? Once you scan the card, it should open up the lock. See how easy it is? And it took you about what, like an hour to set up everything? Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. And that's it. That's it for the Hike Vision uh, tutorial of the access control units. And uh, I'm thrilled to get these installed. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for stopping by. Please like, comment, and uh, definitely put a comment down what you would like to see. We can go all in the detail with tutorials, but this is a brief overview. Thank you very much. Have a great day.